All right, here we go. Section 1.2. On these abbreviated notes that I've developed, um, I'm basically going to be covering the most important ideas of this section, but not every idea of this section. So you'll either need to go to iTunes and watch my full length um, video lectures, which were recorded at Hartnell College, or you could read the book, or you could look at the extended notes. So here we go. So first of all, there's the idea of the population. For example, the population could be everybody in the United States. Well, there's 317 million people or so in the United States. That would be a lot of people to interview. So instead, what you do is you get a smaller group of that called a sample. And it's best that everybody in the population has an equal chance to be chosen to be in the sample. Once you've determined who's going to be in the sample, you need to start gathering information. That information is called a statistic. So when you gather information from a sample, it's a statistic. There's alliteration there, SS. If it was for the whole population, that is then called a census, much like the United States government conducts a census every 10 years trying to find out information about everybody in the United States at that time. So we've got our statistics. Some examples might be the person's hair color, age, weight, how many brothers they have. So next, along with the idea that everybody should have a fair chance to be in the survey, another important idea is that people don't choose to be in the survey. For example, the Monterey Herald, which is a newspaper, in case you've never heard of a, one of those things, they used to have them around. Anyway, kidding aside, with what they do sometimes is they'll have an article and then they'll have a little uh, rectangle that says log on to our website and you know click yes if you agree with it click no well and take a look at this example also if people were after watching a movie asked to text in whether they yes like it or no don't like it well who's really gonna do that it's only those people that really feel strongly yes and those people that really feel strongly no that are gonna take the time and effort to respond. So all the people that are in the middle, all of the average people, let's say, are not going to be included. So you're missing out on a lot of information. All you're getting are the extremes. So with these next examples, just uh, think critically about what they say. So in case you didn't know, all Catholic priests are male at this point and for the last couple thousand years. So what's wrong with this statement that's in quotes? Well, one big problem I see is that there are Catholics all over the world. So when they say 56% of Catholics, are they talking about in the United States, Guatemala, Mexico, Italy, Uruguay? So those different cultures around the world would probably influence the way people feel. It may not be their Catholicism that is guiding their answer. Also, was this 50% female and 50% male that were asked? Perhaps if they asked a whole bunch of women, you would get a completely different response than if they asked a whole bunch of men. So there's just a couple of problems. I'm sure there's more. Now I'll take a look at this graph. Does it seem reliable? Well, the biggest thing to me that says, yes, I think it's reliable, is the word Gallup. And there's a little R for registered trademark down at the bottom. Gallup is a very reliable and has been a very reliable source for gathering statistics for many, many years. Basically, their job is they make up surveys about all different types of things, not just politics, but all different types of things. And then they gather that data and companies come to them and buy it and use it for different things. So some of it's for the public good, like this, the congressional job approval. So this is 2014, so it's right now about 13%. So that means 13% of Americans say, yes, Congress is doing an okay job. Another thing is they've collected data not only 
over many years, but you can see the little tick marks up and down. So it's either every month or every two months, it looks like they gather the data. So they've got quite a bit of data that they've presented there. And then on to our last example. Does the situation seem possible, likely to happen, or impossible? Part A, it's going to rain tomorrow. It will rain tomorrow. Well, this being Monterey County, I, I probably doubt it, but it is possible. You know, it is possible. Is it likely? No. Impossible to happen? No. So that one's a possible. And then for the last question, Justin Bieber will be the president of the United States someday. This is actually impossible. Two small facts you need to know. To be president of the United States, you need to have been born a citizen of the United States, and Justin Bieber is Canadian. So we don't ever have to worry about President Justin Bieber.